Good evening, good evening. How are we? It is nine o'clock and it's Tuesday, the 2nd of July. And we're eight days away from playing with these. Not playing, but using these. Not these ones, metaphorically speaking. Um, using these in Brussels. Um, but before then, before then, we've got a few shows and we've got this show to start. So here's the titles. Vape Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Yes, good evening. It is Vapor Scene on the 2nd of July and we've got uh, a lot to get through in my little half hour. So uh, we're going to go very quickly uh, in a moment or two uh, into a bit of VT I did on the way back from Bonnie, Scotland, uh, where I kind of meandered my way down the M74 and then I went across the A61, I think, um, and I ended up in this place called South Shields, where they all talk really different compared to us down here in Barnsley, see there. <laughs> yes, went down to the knees meet and had a good time. Unfortunately, I didn't stay overnight because uh, A, there wasn't any hotels and B, hadn't been home since Wednesday morning. So I thought I'd better go home. Um, so we're going to go and have a little look at knees meet part one right now. Good morning. How are we? Uh, it is Saturday the 29th of June. Oh yes. And it's 10.31 in the AM. And I am currently, as you can see from the fact that I am driving my car. Um, yes, you can see that uh, I am on my way somewhere. And where is it I am going? Well, I am going down to the knees meet, as I did say on Tuesday's show. Um, so I've been in Scotland since Wednesday uh, and I'm now on my way back south uh, and I'm stopping in in South Shields at the new Crown Inn for the knees meet. I'm still using the um, Vision Victory BBC but I still think that should be BCC uh, and I've still got some Juicy Peach left and I have three mils of the uh, the 10 mils that I bought left. I've been using it all week on and off um, because I've also been using the uh, Pro Tank and I've been using my RGT trying to uh, empty it so I can put some very nice fire and ice that Mr. Mark Jones is going to give me uh, at the Nismit. Before I asked him if he could make me some because it is dead good. Um, and I don't have any of the cinnamon red hots flavour uh, at home. I've got some other cinnamon flavour, but it's just not the same as the cinnamon red hots from uh, Cloud9, I believe. So I must buy myself a, a bottle of that flavouring. But um, yes, this juicy peach is, is rather nice. Um, and the flavour hasn't kind of waned yet. And that's probably because I do like to chop and change during the day. I don't tend to stay on the same liquid um, all the time um, because I think my taste buds get a little bit bored. Um, and they do say a change is as good as the rest. So oh, exciting news on Dave's show on Wednesday in relation to the Brussels mini meat <laughs> and the whole balloon escapade, which has changed slightly from uh, my original idea of letting the balloons go. 
So now we're going to blow them up with air out of our lungs, for we are ex normal cigarette users. I was going to say smokers, but you know, if we take it literally, we're still smokers, but we just don't use the old uh, combustible uh, method anymore. So our increased lung capacity, um, not using the normal cigarettes, will allow us to inflate these balloons and then we're going to pop them in little doo -doo 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 -doo, little forays, little cascades, if you like, um, when the MEPs are having a break and hopefully they will get the message. And each of these balloons that we pop in succession is symbolic of a smoking related death that could be saved if the European Union stay out of e cigs and leave us alone uh, and see sense because you know we are talking about sense here yes we know there's more research to be done but we also know that using what we use is a hell of a lot safer than lighting up so this should be good it's going to be a bit of a long day for me i have to say and uh, for quite a few people uh, i'm having to get a train at half past five in the morning to get down to London in time to meet up with the Eurostar and the rest of the bunch of people who are going in order to uh, to get there but it'll be good and I think I'm going to get home somewhere around about one o'clock in the morning but it's going to be a, a very good day so I'm looking forward to that immensely and of course before that I've got the knees meet and I'll be there in about two hours. <laughs> Look, it's Andy Sutton. Hello. Being extreme close up. <laughs> And that was a little bit of what happened at the knees meet. And the photographs were courtesy of our very own birthday boy, Mr. David Dawn. <laughs> Happy birthday, fella. I hope you've had a good one. And I've seen some little tweets coming through the Twitter feed of uh, pictures of beer. Hmm. And I know he's had a good present as well. I'm sure he'll tell you about that himself. Um, now, the BBC. I spoke to Daz from Safer Sigs on Saturday. Uh, and yes, it was a typo. It should be BCC. So that's that one cleared up. Uh, and I have got this gorgeous fire and ice from Mr. Jones and Sav makes a damn fine one too. Um, but I've been vaping on this and um, I'm probably going to finish it quite quickly. <laughs> so I have to get myself some flavouring and do it myself. Um, now then, let's move on and let's look at this week's Show Us Yours Gallery. And it's coming at you right now. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK.
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's show is yours gallery, and I've been vaping away on this fire and ice. <laughs> I think my tea is going to taste of cinnamon after the show. Um, but there you go. And uh, let's see, who have I got for this week's winner? Yes, indeed. This week's winner is. It's Vicky Grant, aka Winter Rogue. Yes, and Vicky sent this in a while ago. And this week she has won. So, if you would like to win, you know what you need to do. You need to send me an email to vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. Get it to me by 12 noon on Tuesdays, and I will do my very best to get you in the show for that week. And Vicky, if you're watching, uh, your photo came in a different method so I don't have your email address so can you please email me vaporscene at vaporchild.tv and I will let you know how you get your bottle of juice yes so that was Vicky who is this week's winner and looking at my clock we're going to go into the ads and when we come back I have a little interview that I did with Mr Andrew Sutton when I was up at the meet on Saturday so I will see you in two. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And we are indeed back to part two. And I was just looking at chat there during the ads, Winter Rogue. Vicky, you need to do this. Email me, vaporscene at vaportrails.tv and then I will email you back with how you get your juice. <laughs> All good. Uh, okay, so let's move on to uh, a little bit of video I did with Mr Sutton on Saturday uh, with a little update on what's happening in the uh, the swath campaign and other stuff have a little look the swath campaign is is going very well we've been very busy over the past couple of weeks um, we've got a lot in the can that well, i'm sort of sifting through and making a a very interesting video that will go up shortly we've also had a couple of mp visits that have been covered 
uh, to a couple of you know a couple of big vendors, and um, we've also got the Brussels trip coming up as well. We're we're, we're going to send a crew to that, so that will be very interesting. That will be very interesting and a very good idea. And I, I love the idea of a group of people getting together and and releasing. It's very visual. It's beautiful, you know, and there are def it's definitely going to appeal to the n to the news channels and stuff like that, and 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 we'll be there to cover it. I sadly can't go, um, but we are sending a crew, and it's going to be covered completely, and people are going to be interviewed and talked to, and and just there to cover it because th it needs to be shouted from the rooftops. This is what the power of the people is, you know. They the social media has enabled us to pick up our cameras to do this sort of thing and, and to put these messages out there to a global audience, do you know what I mean? And they're messing with a group of people who are very, you know, they're all over the social media. And, and because of the nature of the products and because they're unregulated and because they're, you know, it's a free market, we've had to em em embrace the community and now they're messing with that community. So, you know, this is why SWAF is documenting it because it's, it's, it's the little man being screwed over by the, by the man with the money and and or the woman with the money or, or anybody with the money we're just getting screwed over in general but but you know we've had and I've talked to loads of people Clive Bates and 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 they're, they're all saying it is having an effect but we just have to keep going and and I, and the, the pressure is now to get the videos out and to get them emailed and to get them tweeted and keep that going and uh, there was we were here today and we're talking to all the you know we're talking to each other and in, in uh, not, you know not on Skype which is quite interesting yes. and uh, you know the, there might be another the Twitter twi the Twitter campaigns might come back you know so we're going to start doing that you know just just when they think they've got this you know the votes happening and stuff there's going to be a loud noise from the vaping community and that has to continue The key is to get it out to the media, but but do it in a visual way and an interesting way, and it's it's absolutely perfect. And I was very excited, you know, when I heard it talked about on Vapor Trails, and I was actually editing another video. Do you know what I mean? And I was and I, I booked a booked a guy to go over there straight away, and you know, so we're going to be on the train. That's going to be covered, and it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. But um, yeah, no, it's it's. Doing, doing this as a vapor, because obviously I've been trying to keep, you know, the, the, the truth about the e cig. I am obviously a vapor, so, and I, I love these things, you know, and I don't want them taken away from me. But there are obviously times that I've got to talk to people who don't have that opinion. So it's it's they are quite difficult to find, though those people, because once you look at the evidence, you can clearly see that there's there's. There's something going on that doesn't quite add up, and and all the people I've asked don't don't think it's a conspiracy theory. They don't think it's big tobacco and big pharma, you know, doing it for the money, and they just think it's ignorance. So I'm sort of going with that for the moment until somebody proves me, who proves me wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a it's a difficult point to make, isn't it? Because everyone's going to point at big pharma and big tobacco, yeah, and because of how much revenue they're not going to get. Uh, and how much revenue they will get with the, the devices that they, they, they will be uh, additionalised. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. on the VAT are in the process of, of making now, it's more like an asthma inhaler than it is an e So it's, it's nothing like what we use, uh, and it's nothing like what we want to use either. Clive was a gr is a great speaker. Uh, it took, took probably an hour and a half to watch it, then I, then I chopped it down to sort of my favourite five answers. Also we were straight off the back of the MHRA's announcement that they, in 2016, electronic cigarettes were going to be classified as medicines, if, if, they, if they can. Um, so I, I gravitated towards bits that illustrated the, the fact that Clive thinks it's a really stupid idea to make these medicines. And that, that's what, so that, that, it didn't, that one didn't take very long at all because he was targeted with his answers. Uh, he's, he's very eloquent and very well versed in our fight and our battle. And he's passionate about, you know, the fact that how wrong this is if they do, are turned into medicine. So that makes my job easier because he's straight to the point. So really, in all, it took about five or six hours still, because 
there's quite a lot of, um, you know, there's music to find and then there's the actual editing of it. And, and you know, I am sort of slightly funking them up a little bit. Uh, maybe went a little bit too far with that one, but you know, it's, it's, it's finding its feet, it's finding its feet, you know. And um, yeah, no, so probably, probably I started when I got back at about seven o'clock and then it was finished by 2 a.m. Yeah, so it doesn't take a small amount of time. No, 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 it's very time consuming and that's the reason why for the moment I'm, I'm not on Vaportrails.tv just purely because um, the guys from Vaportrails just said to me, look, it's important that you can spend all your time that you've got spare with your family and stuff and things like that. You know, it all needs to be on swap at the moment and, and I, feel, I, feel, I feel pressure to, to, get, to get the stuff out and um, it's that pressure that's, that's making me do it and, and my love of vaping and the people who made it possible. That's all driving me forward to keep it going and the videos will keep coming until we get the... Um, well, they'll just keep coming, you know. I'll just keep making them because there's a fantastic story here. So once the videos are made, the short videos that, that help spread the message, there is a long film in this, there absolutely is. So um, I don't know how long that'll take to finish, but there is a great story here about a group of people who don't want to give something up. Yeah, and that's a really good point. I mean, you know, when I, when I got a, a, a very small article in the, in the local Clevedon paper, and um, all the neighbors came round to my house and said, you're in the paper. And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, do you use electronic cigarettes? Yeah. Well, my such and such smokes, I, how, where can I get them from? And I go, well, the article was about the fact that the EU, EU are trying to ban them. So, you know, they, you're, you're, if, if you do end up giving them to your relative, then they might not be available. But I'm saying, to, you know, so, so even from people who had no contact, but they knew me, you know, they were interested in it because they knew somebody it could help. And, and my, my kids, you know, just sort of went, you know, daddy's a vapor so he doesn't have to smoke anymore. And that's brilliant. You know, they understand, they understand. They've got more, under, my, my 10 and eight year old have got more understanding than an MEP. <laughs> Why do I believe that so readily? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have some friends, some, some friendly MEPs though. Yeah, Rebecca Taylor is a huge advocate uh, and you know, she knows what she's talking about. We've, we've, we've got some great friends, we've got some great uh, supporters, some, some people who are fighting our corner. But, but that there are so many more people that need to, to hear our shout and the, the, this thing in the EU is gonna, gonna, gonna do great things, I think. Yes, I think it's going to be um, all over the news on yeah. the 10th of July. Um, so by the time we get back to the UK, um, it will have been probably on most news channels. Well, no, I, I, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Yes, that was uh, Andy and myself talking on Saturday and Andy was actually recording me on his camera. So he was wearing my radio mic, I was wearing his radio mic, but unfortunately I haven't managed to get the footage um, in time to edit it all together. So that's why I'm kind of not that loud, but Andy is very loud. Um, but there you go. I hope you found that interesting um, because we needed an update from Andy and I thought it'd be better to get it to you quicker sooner rather than later. Um, okay, let's move along. I've got four minutes-ish. Um, yes, it is a dead cat. Cat is very correct. <laughs> the dead cat goes over the microphone and it cuts the wind noise. Uh, and I should be bringing my own dead cat with me to Brussels next week. Um, but yeah, why are they called dead cats? Maybe because they look a little bit like, um, but I'm with cat because I've got cats as well. Um, anyway, there you go. So yes, and we've got serious camera envy because uh, Andy's camera is really nice. <laughs> oh, there you go. Right, let me just tell you a couple of things. Um, the UK Vapors Modest Forum, every night, half past eight, go there um, for the children in need. Gary Dibley, tips. Uh, he's raised 222 pounds so far in six days. Nice one. Um, and it's going to continue with these 30 tips in 30 days. Hopefully, keeping all of his fingers Gary, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, let's talk about next week. Yes, 
these things, the balloons. Um, we have a little video that Kat has produced for us, and here it is. I love that bit at the end, because <laughs> that's what it's going to be like at around about one-ish on the 10th of July. And there's about a dozen tickets left, so if you do want one, if you can get yourself to London St Pancras for about five to eight, um, that's the time we need to book in at the Eurostar, send an email to Dave, info at vaportrails.tv, and it needs to be by 12 midnight tomorrow. I believe. And Dave will, of course, be bringing us up to speed on more developments tomorrow. But um, this is where we are going to be, the little green area. That's uh, Place de Luxembourg. So if you're going to fly your helicopter in, that's where you need to be. And the, uh, the building with the little circular bit, that is the European Parliament. Now, we arrive at uh, Gar Midi, the station there. Uh, and if you take Route 2, which is the orange one, for about five stops, you come to Troon. From Troon, you can have a leisure little stroll down Plast de Luxembourg. And that takes you to there. Hey, we'll update it again next week, of course, the night before. We'll give you all the information that you need. Um, but it is the uh, 858 from London St Pancras, and then coming back uh, at seven o'clock on the evening. Now, I had a reply from Mrs. Linda McCaven earlier this afternoon, and she agreed to meet me next Wednesday. But unfortunately, she wants to meet me at 6.30, after 6.30 at night. And unfortunately, we're gonna be on the train home. So I've emailed her back. And if you're watching, Mrs. McCaven, I'd love to meet you, but it needs to be while I'm in Brussels. <laughs> Can't do it when I'm not. Um, so uh, that should be good if you can. Okay, so tomorrow night, VT Talk. Jerry Stimson is going to be on with Dave and Sav, and they have some very exciting news. Hmm, I'm not going to give too much away. You're going to have to tune in at 9 o'clock tomorrow for VT Talk, and you will find out what is happening. Thursday, it's the Haze Hour. Fr uh, not Friday. Sunday, it's uh, Dave's Tackle Box. Monday, them there boys who do the mods are back with more tips, more mods, and more tinning. I'm here next Tuesday for the penultimate show before we do the balloon popping on the Wednesday morning. So I'll be uh, getting to bed quite quick because I'll be up about 3.30 to get me train. <laughs> so until then, my friends, have a good one. Stay in for VT Talk if you can understand German. And I will see you next week. Ta-ta.
Vapazine is proudly sponsored by Health eVape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.